I find that this helps my timing. Okay, so not going to a gym. You need somebody punching at you. You need some. It's actually really what it comes down to, I believe, is the technique. Okay? The timing. And, like, the pressure. So, like, you got the technique with that. You know, blah, 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 blah. That teaches the technique. Okay? And it bites back when you don't hit it right. So, you, like, if you don't hit it at, like, certain angles, because, like, it's, it's like like this so I, I don't want to hit it like just to the side I want to hit it up at that angle so when I'm fucking and popping it's like okay there's like technique to it and when you don't hit it right it hurts it really does so you use this for timing okay and then you're gonna throw in this kind of helps with the whole Hands, the boxing, seeing and timing, how it all kind of plays out. Okay, this gives you more of like a okay, how you want to up with it. Boom, 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 boom. Just the flow, you know. Um, but okay, and then you, you know, some breathing techniques and. getting your technique right and everything like that and put it all together and it's working for those of you that can't make it to a gym and you want to train there's always a way to uh, train like for fighting like fight like you know to not get hit when you know you gotta have a technique technique is important this thing works on your structure it's, it's incredible this thing is amazing I love it so much um, so like I said you put all that together and uh, okay now just know it's not like uh, I'm like putting it all out you know I'm basically just working on like okay when you're sparring like somebody like you know like you know <laughs> okay you tend to block a little bit harder and you tend to kind of get in there a little bit harder when they kind of press you well i'm working on actually being able to stay relaxed and controlled um and not hitting like, okay, like with the sparring. Okay, if you make it like to the point where you can't do a whole lot, okay, doesn't mean you're not gonna do a whole lot in the fight because you fight how you train, you train how you fight and all that stuff. So basically, just because I'm not like, you know, it's kind of like I'm like holding back, you know? So it's like, boom, boom, boom. And it works on that technique so that it becomes more precise. So it's, it's knowing where, like, the control of everything, the control, the in and out, the movement, the, okay? And when you're sparring somebody that you're not trying to hurt, I believe it gives you more control in the sense that you have to move in ways that you wouldn't <clears throat> wreck it. You know, you got to... You gotta flow more. So it gives you more control in the fact of, you know, um, being able in the like the last second to decide how not to go so aggressively if you don't want to, and to be able to control the the body movements more. Rather than ah, 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 ah. Yeah, okay, I can do that, and that's what the fight's for. But um, when you're just practicing, you're not always, you're not always drilling hard. So 
I make the, the spine uh, fun because, and I do it just about every night. The spine making it fun, and then it's like one of those things where then it does it's not so much of a job it's just oh okay i'm having fun doing what i'm doing and then when i can control it ha oh, see that's what i'm talking about when you don't hit this thing right oh it bites you oh gosh you gotta like be right on like like and see that don't hurt and it's just like but if you hit it wrong into it wrong and you're not at these points, man, it really stings you. So, but anyway, I think it's very intelligent, you know, because it's not like, okay, uh, a sort of fear creeps up into a fighter's head when you're constantly like, you know, <clears throat> you know, because it gets it, there's a psyche thing of it. It's like, oh, you know, if you train under the Cobra Kai, no mercy type thing, you know, it's like, okay, but like realistically, when you make it fun, it becomes easier and you get good at it and your confidence grows more with it when you're having fun with it, rather than when it's like a task and a chore. You're, ah, 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 that's how fighters give up. So I just make it fun, have fun with it, make it a game, ba, 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 ba. juggle, go in and out of, uh, juggling from this to that and just hold my focus hold my concentration i go in between uh matches like in between uh like i'll take like five six seven eight minutes and uh, i'll just go straight on that and then i'll come and i'll just juggle these and then i'll come and i'll hit the ball and then i'll just do like various like juggling drills and such because um I believe that it's very important to uh, have that stability of balance because when you can't mess with somebody's balance and they're hard to take down and they're hard to like they can move off of any situation and you know it's you know it's hard to rock them then it's hard to take their center of gravity and if you can't take a person's center of gravity that is moving around you know with you know many different styles i know it's mma and all these different styles but let's get real the stuff just is kickboxing and you know jujitsu it that's all it is it's not even like mixed martial arts anymore i mean yeah every once in a while you see the guy get out and do something different or whatever like that so you know it's time to bring just a little bit different game to it okay doing all that stuff but adding kung fu into it <laughs> then we'll see by the end of it if they're saying that kung fu is one of the 10 worst martial arts to practice for with mma <laughs> or i don't know but i don't doubt myself so uh that's a lot of people's problem is they think oh you can't do that because they go on they watch all these kung fu masters getting beat well that's because these guys don't know how to do jujitsu and they don't know how to do kickboxing all they have practiced is these slow forms that you know and ha oh, and oh, like that and it's like yeah okay i practice it too but it's like i know how to actually utilize it and it's not like well they use these too yeah but they don't train like a fighter okay they don't they don't know how to get hit they don't they don't know what to do when they get into certain situations they're just used to practicing stuff like this and of course they get their asses beat well i'm going to show that this shit does work and i'm just getting closer and closer to it i'm just having fun training and i'm not being so like ah, 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 you know i'm just killing myself with it because i found that i do better in competition when i just have fun with my training when i start looking at it as a task and a chore then it starts getting into my head and i start tripping myself out and i start like kind of you know but as long as i just have fun when i'm training i'm hard to fucking beat just saying. So I'm just gonna keep having fun. So I let me do me and I let to do you you. Have fun with it. I love you.
Okay, it was good. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen again, though. <laughs> Careful with my hands. <laughs> you're not hitting me, you know that, right? It looks like you are, but you're not. Let me think like that! <laughs> Ow! Oh. Fucking asshole! <laughs> 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 Okay, make me hurt like that. No! So what, you could do it again? No.